Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at vector problems. Before we begin, you should probably watch my video on the basics of vectors so you're absolutely certain about how vectors work, because this video is going to be a bit harder. I'll leave a link to that in the description below this video. But if you're ready, let's talk about our first example. It says OABC is a parallelogram. O to A is a vector A and O to C is C. P is the point on AB such that AP is equal to AB. Q is the point on OC, such that OQ is two thirds of OC. Find the vector of PQ in terms of A and C. Okay, there's a lot of information there, but it is also drawn in the diagram here, and you are given this diagram in the question. And we'll start by labeling A and C. O to A is A, and O to C is C. And that's what it says in the question. Those are the vectors in the question. And we also know that the opposite sides are equal length and they are parallel because it's a parallelogram. Uh, so we can say that these vectors are all the same. C and C are the same, A and A are the same, because that's how parallelograms work. We're also told that the top length from A to P has a quarter of C, and at the bottom O to Q is two thirds of C. We are told that in the question. We're trying to go from P to Q. So P to Q is going from P to A, A to O, and then O to Q. We're going to start by going from P to O. So to go from P to O, we're going to go backwards, uh, a quarter of C, and a backwards A. And so that's going to be uh, subtracting a quarter of C and subtracting A. Notice that we're going backwards here, so it has to be negative. Now we're going to go from O to Q, and to go from O to Q, we need to go forwards, two-thirds of C, so we're going to add two-thirds of C on the end. Now that is an uh, equation, uh, a vector, P to Q in terms of A and C, but we need to simplify it. And we'll simplify it with common denominators for the C's, which combine minus 3 twelfths of C plus 8 twelfths of C is f 5 twelfths of C. And there we have it. P to Q in terms of A and C, and we've finished. That is the final answer. Let's look at example two now. It says A, B, C, D, E, F is a regular hexagon with center M. M to A is A, M to B is B. The line AB is extended to the point N, so that AB to B to N is one to two. This means that the length uh, B to N is twice the length A to B. And that's if you'll get ratio lengths in vectors quite often, and it just means that this length is twice this length, as ratios normally work like that. Write the vector e to n in terms of a and b. Okay, we're told that m to a is a, m to b is b. And we also know that um, regular hexagons are made of six equal lateral triangles. So all these six triangles here are the same. And because we know that all those equilateral triangles are the same, we know that the matching sides of those triangles will also be the same length. This is a key idea because quite often in vector questions, you might be given uh, regular hexagons and you have to use the fact that regular hexagons have the same lengths and uh, a lot of the sides will be parallel when arranged like this. So the vector A, like that, they're all the same. And the vector B, like this, they're all the same. That's really useful because now we can use B's and A's to work this out. We can also extend the line A to B and it's extended to the point N. So the length B to N is twice the length A to B and it will look like that. So we will take our rule out and we will draw this line, this extended line. We'll call it the vector A to B C and we know that the uh, vector B to N is twice that. So we can label this C and this C. Okay, now we want to go from E to N and the easiest way to do that is to go from E to B and then B to N. From E to B is just B and B together. So it's going to be B plus B and then from B to N that is C plus C because there's two C's. We can simplify that to be 2B plus 2C. However, this is in terms of C, and C was a vector we made up. We need to replace the C with some expression for A to B. I'm going to do this like this. 
C is going backwards A and forwards B. And so C can be written in terms of A and B like this. C is equal to minus A plus B. We go substitute that into expression. So 2B plus 2 times minus A plus B, which is 2B minus 2A plus 2B, which simplifies 2B plus 2B to 4B minus 2A. And again, we found the vector e to n in terms of a and b. And we are finished. Our final question here is, it says, look at the triangle OAB below. O to a is a and O to b is b. P is the point on AB such that AP to PB is 3 to 2. O to p is k times a plus 3b. Find the value of k. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the vector O to P and then we're going to uh, write that in the form something times A plus 3B where the something is outside the bracket and that something will be the K. And so he says P is the point on AB such that AP equals uh, to PB is theta 2. So we know that P lies on this line somewhere between A and B. It lies such that the distance from A to P is in a ratio of the length p to b, theta 2. And because it's theta 2, it will be split into 5, because 3 plus 2 is 5. And so the length from a to p is 3 fifths of a to b, and the length p to b is 2 fifths of a to b. That's what that ratio is telling us. That the, because it's in the ratio of 3 to 2, 3 fifths will be from a to p, and 2 fifths will be from a to b. I've got the fifths from 3 plus 2. Okay, so and that tells us precisely where the uh, point P is. We're now trying to find O to P. To go from O to P, we're going to go from O to A and then A to P. O to A is going up the vector A. That is given very simply in the question, so you can place that with A. A to P is two fifths of a, uh, sorry, three fifths of a to b. So we replace that like that. However, now we need to replace the uh, a to b in terms of uh, a's and b's. a to b is going backwards a and forwards two b. So it's going to be minus a plus two b. That's an expression for a to b, and we're going to. Uh, Substitute that in like that. So AB has been replaced by minus A plus 2B. We expand those brackets and we get A minus 3 fifths A plus 6 fifths of B. Just remember 3 fifths times 2B will be 6 fifths B. Simplify that. A minus 3 fifths of A will be 2 fifths of A. That's one whole minus 3 fifths. That'll be 2 fifths. And now this is the tricky part. We're going to factorise two fifths out of that expression because um, both these coefficients, this two fifths and six fifths, can be divided by two fifths, and so we can take two fifths out of that expression. And that's a tricky step because we have to uh, factor out two fifths, and that's how we get it in the form something times a plus three b. And so the something on the outside is two fifths, and therefore k is equal to two fifths, and that's the final answer. K is equal to two-fifths. Okay, I've shown you uh, all the examples in today's video. That's three different examples. And it might be a good idea for you to rewind the video and try this again yourselves. Try all three examples yourself, pausing before each example to see if you do get the same answer as me and if you're working out is the same as mine. Anyway, there's a practice question for you to try here if you're ready. And it says, ABC is a straight line. A to B and B to C is a ratio of 2 to 5. And so uh, that tells us that the length A to B is 2 sevenths of the full distance and B to C is 5 sevenths of the full distance from A to C. O to A is 2A plus B. O to B is 3A plus 2B. Express A to C in terms of A and B. Give your answers in the simplest form. Okay, so you can pause this video and try this yourself in your own time. But if you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. 
The final says a c equals 7 uh, over 2a plus 7 over 2b. Did you get this correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE, A level, and IB maths with quick and simple explanations, and new videos will be coming very soon. We also launched advancedmaths.com for all your simple revision resources in one place. Thanks for watching, and good luck in your exams.